Hey y'all. So my kids, um, I believe it was them, and probably my sister told me to start um blogging. So this is my first one. My sister told me to do it today in the car <laughs> on my way home. So I am being obedient so that I can uh see where this goes. Um because she was the one who told me to write a book. And I'm like, I don't know why people are reading books like that. But um, really, my book like would be <laughs> her suggestion. My dating experiences since being single. I've been married most of my life. I've been married twice. And uh, this is new to me, being single. I'm cool with it. Like I like my liberty, my freedom, for one. My space. enjoying me and learning me what I like what I don't like what makes me happy doing things for myself that I used to expect or want other people to do for me or want men I should say to do for me as far as gifts and things but to um <laughs> the single thing is like the dating is very interesting for lack of a better word because it's it's interesting but it's also uh annoying and frustrating Ugh, I don't even know where to start, but I decided to try Facebook dating one day. Just bored, something to do. Not really looking for somebody to date on there, um, but just trying it. And, you know, opening myself up to meet new people. I've never really dated, like, dated people. Um, so I wanted to try that, too. And uh, it was overwhelming, my first experience of going on there. Setting up my profile, it was cool. But, like, as soon as I did it, by, like, the next day, I think I woke up to a whole bunch of requests and swiping through, trying to figure out who to accept, who not to accept. Try not to be too picky, which my recommendation is be picky. Um, but it's certain people that I knew that I probably wasn't going to like, wasn't interested in, wasn't attracted to, whatever. And some I knew, like, just, like, no, it's a no. Or whatever. So, okay, I accept some people, right? And then, as soon as you accept them, then they overwhelm you with the, hey, hi, beautiful, hello, um, all that, or whatever. So then that was overwhelming, because now I'm like, <laughs> trying to respond to people and stuff, and people holding whole conversations, and then be not giving the time to it either. So like, if I'm at work or whatever, not having time to be checking it, and not caring enough to check it. Okay, so I check it, a few people, I'm like, okay not bad conversation or whatever and um some of them just like ready to meet you as soon as you say hi or whatever and it's like i don't even know you <laughs> so um and i don't have a problem being honest and like weeding people out and not wanting to waste people's time or my time so there were a few that i had to do that too but i was trying to be open and willing this time around um after my second divorce because the first divorce I went through like some trauma and just coming out of that I needed time to myself I took like three years of being just me single and uh kind of the same thing this time but then at some point I was ready to date but then I was scared like so scared of what it could be thinking that um people was gonna be crazy the same as what I experienced prior to getting back out to dating so like I had major anxiety and um <laughs> I just didn't let people go very far like what they would ask for my telephone number I'm like mm, we could talk on here and when I feel comfortable then I'll exchange numbers with you or whatever and so this time around I was a little bit more open and people asking can we talk off, off the app and I'm like sure giving them my number them texting me and then finding out I'm not interested so having to break it to those people that like I'm sorry but I don't want to waste your time you seem like a nice guy but I'm not interested <laughs> um so yeah that was my first experience and then like it became a whole meet and greet thing which I think was a term one of the guys that I'll tell y'all about another time labeled it <laughs> and uh because he was like you out here meeting and greeting <laughs> where you like just set up a meet and greet with a person versus actually going out on a date 
Oh my gosh, and then I'll have to tell y'all about the experiences with that too because a lot of these men ain't doing dates, which I understand and I respect because if you out here trying to meet somebody and you taking all these women on dates and you treating, that's a lot of money. And then some of these women are not wanting anything but to be taken on a date and that's it. So um, I was cool with the meet and greet, but just seeing how they were, like, they don't even try to impress you like i'm dressing cute trying to make sure i look presentable first impression or whatever and they coming out in work clothes dirty clothes like man y'all <laughs> just crazy i'm gonna end this right here and then pick up with the rest later